Hello everyone. In this video we're going to be looking at assembling our cadet class car with the correct uh, wheels, axle grommets, uh, everything ready for doing some renders to put on our posters. So I'm in Onshape. Um, you can see here as on the last video I've uploaded all of the different parts from the RAO website. So I've got my wheels, deadline guides, axle and axle grommet. I've also got my machining spigot and balsa block there which we'll use very shortly. A couple more folders, my 2021 cadet cars where I have my car and here it is. So I'm going to open that up and we're going to get ready to do an assembly. To start with, there's my basic car. I'm going to come down the bottom left hand corner of my screen, click on the plus button to insert a new element and I want to create this and as, as an assembly. Now straight away I'm going to jump in, going to rename it and I'm going to call this car assembly. Now, reason being, we're going to create more assemblies down the track, but just want to get the naming right. So, starting up, we're going to insert a part, and this part is going to be our cadet car body. So, you'll automatically see that because it's we're in that document. Click OK, and it's there. We need to add a few more parts in. So, I'm going to insert, go to other documents, my on shape, F1 in schools. And the first thing we want to do, we want to find the axle grommet. So I'm going to put that there, um, axle grommet. I'm going to go one, two, over here three, and four. And now I've got my four axle grommets sitting in my document. Now we're going to use these constraint tools across the top. And each one of these is for a very different purpose. Um, the one we're going to use today is a uh, fastened mate because we don't want these things moving. So click on fastened and then we're going to come down. I'm going to zoom in a bit. I need to click on this internal corner or even the outside edge there of the tether line guide. Keep in mind this is the part that's actually going to sit on our car. So I'm going to click on the outside ring there, come across, click on the inside of the um, axle hole we drilled in our cars and you'll notice this is facing around the wrong way so up in the box here or in the little drop tab it says here we can flip the primary axis so if I click on that you'll notice it turns around 180 degrees and then we can click on the plus or sorry the tick green tick to commit You'll notice the constraint is still there because it thinks, oh, maybe there's more to do. So now I'm going to come back to my rear uh, axle grommet at the back of the car. Same thing again. Click on the edge of the grommet. Click on the edge of the circle. I'm going to have to flip it around again. Hit the green tick to OK. Now I can zoom out, spin my car around, and I can do the next two. Same again, find that back edge, click on the hole, you're going to have to flip it around, hit OK, and last one, edge of that, edge of the hole, flip it around, and click OK. And now we've got our axle grommets in place. The next thing I want to do is put on some wheels. So back to insert, other documents, my on shape. F1 and I'm going to put the wide wheels in and I want to put two of these so I'm going to put one there I'm going to add another one over this side then I'm going to go back and I'm going to click on the narrow wheels and I'm going to put one on this side at the front click again and one on the other side of the car at the front and click OK Back to constraints, we're going to do a fastened again because for the time being I don't want these, need these spinning. Zoom into the wheel, click on the inside edge of the wheel there, click on the inside edge of our axle grommet. Now again, this is around the wrong way, so click on flip axis, we can see the wheel sitting properly. Zoom out and now this one's a little bit tougher to see because it's not shaded very nicely um, but we'll find a way. So if I zoom right in I can just make that out on the screen. Um, 
that's not right. Let's try that again. Let's go fastened, inside edge, inside edge, flip axis, and there we go, that's a bit better. Turn the car around, same again for the front wheel, and then click on the inside, just take your time to select the right part. If it doesn't work first go, drag your mouse away from the part and come back. So click on there, click on that one, flip axis, cool, that one's looking good. And very last one, we're going to come in, we're going to select inside of the wheel, select the grommet, flip the axle to get it around the right way, and tick. And now we have our car. I know the axles aren't there, not a big deal at the moment because we're just going for the looks. But we've got our car, we've got the axle grommets uh, fastened, we've got some small wheels on the front, we've got some big wheels on the back, uh, and the car's assembled. Next one we're going to be doing is the machining assembly, so watch out for that video. See ya!